welcome to our Young Zine exhibition in uh, Los Angeles. And today we have a very special guest. Uh, we're flattered to have the legend coming uh, himself, Don the Dragon Wilson. And today he also brought, brought us a present of him and he will uh, tell us hopefully some words about this movie. Yes, yes. yes. The, the movie is The Martial Art Kid. It was produced by my brother, James Wilson. And uh, I'm very proud of it. It's a family film. Most of my films are not really for children. They're for 17 and above. It's a lot of action and violence. But this one has a very good story. It's a comedy. And uh, actually they just made the sale. In fact, the papers were signed today for China. Wow. So it will be in China, it will be released uh, throughout China, uh, the martial art kit, and um, yeah, I'm, 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 oops, I apologize, it's okay. <laughs> my phone is going, LA. but uh, it is LA, and you have to be uh, in contact 24 hours a day. <laughs> Some days a week. Yes, uh, the artist here, is, the sculptures are beautiful, they're very nice, very unique. Uh, I'm very impressed, and you know you don't know this about me, but I used to be an artist myself. Really? Yeah. Tell us about it. Well, I, when I was in high school and I was a senior, uh, there was a nation or statewide art contest, and my art teacher wanted me to enroll, but I didn't have time to find a picture or a sculpture or anything I could do. So he submitted the very first drawing I drew in art class, and it won first place. It was a, by, a pencil, and it was a piece of driftwood. I just bought a piece of, I drew a piece of driftwood, and it won first place in Florida where I was senior. So uh, I had a little talent as an artist. Wonderful. That's, that's something new we didn't know. Yep. Uh, I heard that you are uh, about to sign a contract uh, with uh, some people, and you have a project in China. Yes, uh, now of course my first film was a Chinese film, but I never did anything entertainment wise in China other than that. I was in uh, uh, Hong Kong, it was a Hong Kong company, and uh, at the time it was Alan Tang, and the company he's passed away. But um, uh, this would be my next project. It would be a, um, a Chinese producer, Henry Lu, L U K, and uh, a guy named John Fusco is the showrunner. He's a, an American. Uh, writer and producer of TV and film and um, I have a meeting today to uh, discuss what what I'm going to be able to do it. Um, I, I'm not going to move to Beijing though, but I, I, it is filmed in Beijing so I'll spend a lot of time there. That is wonderful, so maybe we can get up over there in Beijing. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be great because uh, you know everybody needs publicity, including the dragon. And um, uh, this this will be something I, I think will uh, possibly begin before the end of the year. Besides doing many projects, um, also being an artist, what is your passion, which we don't know? Uh, you know, when I have free time, I, to this day, people ask me, uh, how do you get the um, incentive to go to the gym and get the bag of it? It's my passion. If I had for a free hour, I'd go right to the gym, and all I need is a heavy bag, and I can punch and kick it for an hour, and I feel great. It's just, you know, I can't even explain it, but for me, it feels very good, and I, I never get bored, and um, I don't have to force myself to go to the gym. I, I really can't wait to get there. Uh, I have a very difficult question for you. Uh, you, just, you just said that when you have time, you go to the gym, and I think that, do you have free time? Well, uh, I've got to find the free time because uh, uh, time that away from work I spend with my family, which uh, mainly right now is my 16-year-old daughter, I'll be honest, because she's been working in the hospital, it's been summertime, and uh, so I do a lot of, I'm what they call Uber dad. You know how they have Uber and... Yeah.